Brian Bloomfield, we've welcomed Barry Smith to Aldershot Town, and, and now I suppose the question has to be, why, why have the board chosen this man? What, what impressed you about him? Well, I think overall, uh, on the interview, he came over very professional, very well prepared, and he came over with a high degree of integrity and commitment that he was showing to actually just attending the interview. Uh, bearing in mind, he, came, he flew down from Scotland, uh, he was prepared to turn around and relocate, which he's actually doing at this present moment. And he'd done it before, he'd been to Iceland, where he was very successful. So th 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 there is some sort of past trend there, that he's willing to travel for the right job. And uh, so very, very pleased as a supporter, first and foremost, that we've managed to land Barry. And I've talked to people uh, within football at a high level to this, chairman, and managers, and they just can't believe that we've actually managed to get him. So I'm really pleased. And that, that is it, that time has been taken on this decision, and rightly so, and you're happy that, that the club has got the right man, and that, that actually it is a bit of a coup for Aldershot Town to, to have appointed Barry Smith. Well, well, I think we're fortunate in getting Barry. Uh, I, I think he comes with uh, a good pedigree. Uh, he's got his pro licence. Uh, he's very well thought of in the game. He has got good connections. I know some supporters saying, well, you know, he hasn't been in the conference. Well, what we want is a manager that's going to fit our football club. And he, he does actually fit. Uh, I'm sure our Scottish supporters are going to be over the moon. Uh, but I think once all the supporters get to know him, I, I, I think they will know that, you know, we, we, we've got a very good man in Barry Smith. And I'm very pleased that... It, what was important as well was that we actually, if we could, maintain the services of, of Chris Barker. Mm. And uh, that was key, because at, at a football club we need to have continuity and we need to keep uh, the skill sets that we've developed within the club. And uh, I'm very pleased that Chris is staying as well, very pleased. Yeah. And this is about looking forward to a positive future, but we can't overlook the job that Chris has, Chris has done since the end of January in, in keeping the club in the conference? Well, well rightly so, and uh, I, I think, you know, uh, Chris Barker along with Matt Gray, let's not forget Matt because, you know, it's easy to forget the, the, the coach as well. I think they've both committed themselves very well to the club. I think, I think the work ethic has been absolutely fantastic, uh, and, and I hope that continues. And I think that, uh, you know, I've been supporting this club for a very long time, same as you, and uh, a lot of fans here. And I feel that we've maybe got the strongest overall team that we've ever had in the management team. That's my, that's my personal opinion, and I'm very pleased. I think the future, you know, can be very, very bright for us. And Barry, as you've already said, is making a, a big commitment to the club to, to, to move his family down from Scotland. And I suppose that, that shows the overall commitment on the, and off the pitch that, that he brings. Yeah, the, one of the key things was that we wanted a manager who was local, someone who could actually spend the time and the commitment at the, at the football club, but also to a certain degree as well, with, with, you, know, if, you know, possibly within the community as well. And if you live 80, 100 miles away, there's no way that you can generally do that. Uh, we're very pleased that he, you know, he, he is relocating and uh, him, uh, his wife and his uh, baby son will be down here shortly. And uh, I'm sure they will uh, like like the area, it's, uh, you know, older shot is older shot, and we love it. <laughs> exactly, yeah, and... He comes from Glasgow, he comes from <laughs> Glasgow, so uh, he, he'll be okay. <laughs> and Barry is, is clearly the number one, but it's, it's a, team, a team game and a team yeah. off the pitch in the, in the manager's office as well, and I suppose, as you've already said, with Chris and with Matt, they bring a wealth of conference experience, and it seems like the makings of a, a, a good team that they can all work together really well. Yes, I think so. I think you've got, you've got three different personalities there, and, and there are three different people, but there are three people there that we feel have a sense of integrity, uh, a sense of honesty where they can actually work together as well. And I, and I think that's key in actually building a good management team. And uh, I'm sure we're going to have three people uh, in Barry, Chris and Matt who are going to do everything they can to make this club the success that the supporters deserve. And entertaining attacking football was a big part of your criteria and Barry shares that vision. Oh very much so. Uh, let's be honest, the last three years it hasn't been good on the football front. Uh, we have to be honest. We've had some very good highs and we have, especially this year with the, uh, with the cut run, there's no doubt. 
but along with it there has been some very disappointing performances and too many. Uh, so it's been very difficult, difficult for the fans and that's hurt the football club, uh, very much so and we're looking for a very expansive attacking play. We've asked that and requested that Barry plays that and uh, I think he's, what, he's one who wants to play it, he's always tried to play it, uh, it's just making sure we get the right players or he, he gets the right players to actually fit the mould that he wants. Mm. And he mentioned the, reaching the playoffs in his in his interview. He did. Are, yeah. are there any are there any ambitions, any targets that the board have have set? I'm clearly it's it's a long term appointment, but is, are yeah. there any are there any ambitions, targets that, that the board would like him to achieve? Yeah. Well, first of all, we'll just mention on the long term appointments uh, that the, the contract is there that suits both Barry and the club, and I just want to assure the, the fans that it does protect the club very well. So hopefully it's a long-term appointment. Uh, the situation is that as a football club, as we move forward next season, you have to harbour ambitions. Yes, we want to get in the playoffs, but we know how difficult it's going to be. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to have a budget that we believe can actually turn around and hit those playoff spots. Uh, but when you see some of the clubs coming down, a couple of those clubs coming up, uh, we're asking Barry, the management team and the players next season to have to add that extra bit of value to make it happen uh, because if it was done pound for pound on what you put in then you know we're going to be a bit behind. We know that, we're not silly, you know, let's be sensible about it but I, I know we've got the right management team and structure there to actually get that little bit more out. Mm. And Barry does bring a record with Dundee and with Alloa of maybe punching above his way of getting a team to, to overachieve. It's, the league table isn't always based on the budget, it's the quality of the manager, the players and, and creating a team. Well that's right, I mean uh, obviously he did uh, extremely well uh, at Dundee, he had the minus 25 points. Uh, uh, it, wasn't, it was unfortunate that he got promoted on the last, uh, on the last day virtually of the season because of the demise of, uh, of Rangers uh, which didn't help the cause of Dundee that season unfortunately. At Alloa, uh, you know, we, we, I know the budget that they had at Alloa, and uh, it, it, it was small. In fact, I think a lot of people would be surprised how little money there is in, in Scotland below the big teams. Uh, so he, he's used to working very, very hard with the budget. Uh, I, I, I think he's. Uh, I, I think we're fortunate with Barry and with Chris and Matt there, but they will turn around and bring to the table players who are going to be 100% committed, and we will get. I'm sure value for money for the supporters on that pitch next year. That's crucial. And clearly, Barry will lead the club on the pitch. But this this is part of a bigger picture, and we want success on the pitch, obviously. But as you said, the team around the club. This is a, a chance for you know, the club to strike for a, a really positive future, a bright future, on and off the pitch in all in all areas. I, I, I think so. I think uh, long term, uh, we're fully aware of it as a football club. Uh, where we're at, particularly with regards to the ground, and I think you know, long term, that's got to be. In fact, short, medium, and long term, that's got to be something that the board of director has to push on. Uh, as a board, we must look at ways of actually uh, developing uh, the football club, and part of that has got to be with regards to the ground and also the people that are working within the club. We have to build that up sensibly in order for us to push on, but we can only do that. First and foremost, with a good team on the pitch, with the management applying themselves to making that team win games and bring supporters through the turnstiles, because it's the supporters' money, along with our sponsors as well, of course, who actually at the end of the day is going to make it all happen and make it sustainable. Yeah, and you've, you've hinted there, there are big plans for the club. It, you know, the club is, is an ambitious club, wanting to move forward in, as I say, in all areas. Yes, very much so. and. Uh, it, it, it's very difficult, isn't it, for, for a lot of clubs. You either turn around and stay where you are uh, as the status quo, which means that your fans aren't going to be happy, or you have to turn around and put plans in place that are going to take you for the next 10, 15, 20 years. And it's getting, it's getting tougher and tougher in non-league. You know, you've got people coming in 
with the money you can actually almost bankroll clubs out of the division. I think that's why I think it's been quite nice this year that Bayern have actually won that league. Uh, you know, on lower tendencies, not a huge budget, but with a very committed manager. So what we've got to do, as I said, is we've got to build off as well as on. They, those two things have to come in tandem, because if they don't, it's not going to work. And at the heart of that, of course, is the supporters, and it's about letting them know that, that this is their club and the success will be a team effort. That I suppose the, the point is that... that that the board, that the staff, the players, they're custodi custodians of the club, and that you know, the fans are no, you know, the fans are the most important thing at the club. Well, first and foremost, it is all about the fans, isn't it? The supporters, which I'm one and you're one. And we said earlier about the fact that you know we were both at Cardiff for that last game. Uh, the situation is, as far as I see it, that the most important people uh, within the football club are the supporters, because without the supporters, you haven't got the heartbeat of this football club and everybody knows and in fact I, I was very pleased that Barry mentioned it earlier uh, in, in his press conference about when the, when, when, when the fans are really on song at this football club it's just something about this club, about the ground as well that really does add to the whole atmosphere and the supporters do deserve a lot more than what they've had over the last three years. They also deserve a board of directors who actually apply themselves in such a way that they actually maintain stability within this and sustainability within this football club as well. And first and foremost, I'm a supporter, and uh, I, along with all the other directors and everyone around the club, including the supporters, will obviously strive to make it a better place to be. And the club finally is in a good position at the moment, but things can always be improved, and there's there is that vision to to make things even better. Well, I think uh, if you don't challenge yourself, then you sit back on your laurels and uh, you just tread water and invariably it will go wrong. So you have to turn around and always look at ways of actually improving the business, committing uh, individuals, yourselves, etc., to turn around and making it a better business. And uh, we've got some good people working within the football club. Uh, and that goes for, you know, we've only got a few paid employees, but we've got, oh, in, in addition to the board of directors, we've got a lot of volunteers uh, throughout the club that work tirelessly for this club, and uh, long may it continue. But we, we've got to maintain that and maintain the fact that the supporters who, are, who do volunteers still want to come back and do it.